Hey there, welcome. So this video is gonna serve as an introduction to using Unity, um, and this can go for either using Unity on a PC or on a Mac. I kind of just wanna go over the basics of getting and installing Unity, and also the basics of where you can find assets to use in your Unity projects. So first and foremost, where you can get Unity, you can either go to unity3d.com or to just unity.com. And when you're here, if you click get started, you'll be offered with a few different plans and pricing. For most of you who are hobbyists, it's gonna be easiest if you go with the individual, but there are plus and pro uh, subscriptions available. If you click over to the individual tab, if you just choose the personal tab, you can use the personal even if you're gonna be making a game with your Unity that you plan on selling. So long as the program that's make, or not the program, so long as the company that's making the game makes less than $100,000 in funding or revenue, in the previous year, then you're just fine. Uh, if you click get started from here, you can choose a first time user, which will download a guided learning path for you. And that can actually be pretty good. They have a few different paths that you can choose. Uh, there's a carding micro game, a platformer micro game, a first person shooter, and then just an empty 3D project. However, if you feel like you wanna kinda get started without necessarily having something to guide you, you can just choose go here for returning users and then you would accept the terms uh, by clicking here and download Unity Hub. Once you have Unity Hub downloaded, here's what it's gonna look like. From Unity Hub, you need to then download a version of Unity. So if you go to the installs, I currently have quite a few different versions of Unity installed on my computer. Um, I, re I have so many because I'm working on projects in kind of each different one. For example, I have a project for a computer that's only 32-bit, and that's why I have the 5.6.6 back here. Uh, from here, you click Add, and then choose a version of Unity that you'd want to add, and when you click Next, it'll lead you through uh, things that you might want to install with it. If you don't currently have a programming editor on your uh, computer, I would definitely suggest that you click to download Microsoft Visual Studio Community. Uh, you can also choose which build support platforms you would like. There's Android, iOS, tvOS, Linux, Mac, all the good stuff. And then the documentation. Once you have all that selected and choose done, it'll then start installing and downloading Unity to your system. Now, as far as where you can get uh, assets that you can use for your projects, there's a few websites I personally really like. The first one is itch.io, and I'll include a link to that in the description. Uh, itch.io is a game platform However, they also sell tools and game assets. So the main page of itch looks something like this. And then from here, you can choose the game assets. Now you can search game assets under quite a few different tags, popular, new and popular, top sellers, top rated. And you can also sort um, by quite a few different things. Um, most recent is what I often go to because I check this quite a lot just to see what's out there, what people have added to the community. Uh, the other that I want to make sure everybody knows about is opengameart.org. Now, one thing about opengameart.org that you want to bear in mind is not everything that is on this website has the same uh, Creative Commons license. And what that means, if you click on something, like say this Game Boy tile set here, uh, when it loads up in the left hand side, you'll see a kind of a sticker telling you what kind of Creative Commons license is used for it. In this case, this is Creative Commons Zero, which puts it in the public domain, meaning you can use it without having to give any kind of attribution to it. However, there are going to be some assets that you'll find. Let me see if I can actually find one right now. That will require some sort of attribution. And you want to make sure that you're paying attention to that and being a good steward of other people's copyright. For example, this music here um, by, oh, wow, Alexander, I am not. Jalanov, I'm going to say, uh, is CC 3.0, which means that you can use it uh, so long as you give attribution. And if you click on the actual Creative Commons, it'll tell you exactly what you're allowed to do. In this case, you're allowed to share and adapt under the uh, terms that you give attribution. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to what kind of restrictions are given. Now, since you're using Unity, you can also use uh, something that is one of the big benefits of using Unity, and that is the Unity Asset Store. So again, if you go back to uh, unity.com, 
uh, back at unity.com, if you click on this little nine grid up here, you can then go to the asset store. And the asset store has a ton of both free and paid assets that you are free to use in your in your project. So, uh, for example, if you click on assets and you want to look at 2D assets that you can use from here, uh, you can sort this by price, low to high, and this can give you a lot of different options as far as free assets that you can use. So there we go. The next video that I'm going to do in this series is going to talk about uh, exactly how to set up a project in Unity and uh, some useful Unity tips. So stay tuned and we'll go over that next. All right, thanks very much for watching. I hope you learned something. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons down there if you did learn something. You can share this to your social media platform if you think somebody you know might want to learn it. Uh, you can click the bell icon. Just, just go nuts on those buttons down there. There's so many buttons. Why not try pushing them all? Except for maybe dislike. You know, maybe, maybe leave that one alone. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you open up the description, uh, you can see that I have provided links to my Patreon, uh, where if you want to check in a buck to make sure these videos keep coming, you sure can. My Discord channel, where not just me, but other people are chatting every day, kind of helping people out who are trying to learn this whole trade. Uh, you can find my itch.io page, where I have some assets and some general frameworks. And yeah, there's also some kind of general use links down there, so feel free to check out that description. Otherwise, I hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day.